So it's the Strada Folio Series from Autobox, the most underrated flip case on the market. Well, I'm back here from Droid Tech, and let's check this out. Okay, so before we begin this video, I would like to thank Autobox Malaysia for sending me out a review unit. This is by no means a paid review, so I'm not given any money to talk stuff about this product. All will be from my honest opinion. I've actually used this case for about 24 hours now. I wanted to do that so that I can give you my honest feedback. I myself am not a big fan of flip cases like this or folio cases. But however, this product is very special that I am indeed actually willing to use it on a daily basis. I would like to crack into this case, package and show you what it comes with. Bear in mind, this is actually a case for the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus as well as the S9 series. They also have this case for the iPhone series and other Galaxy series as well. Okay, so let me put my S9 Plus to the side and focus on the reason why we are here. So on the front, you can see the usual Autobox branding on the left. And on the right, we actually see design for Samsung. It's something like MFI. Uh, made for iPhone, but now Samsung has this trademark over here. I think they have come up with this a uh, couple of years back. Okay, so moving on. Right in the center, we have Strada Folio Series Crafted Protection. So you can see it's like a sort of a chrome finish right there. Okay, on the bottom, we have Autobox Certified Drop Protection. Bear in mind, this is not military certified drop protection. This Autobox Certified Drop Protection. But from my previous experiences with Autobox cases, I trust their protection. I trust their claims right there. If I put my phone in this case, I'm sure nothing will happen to it, even if I drop it from about six feet. And on the bottom, in the center, we have four Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Okay, on the back, that's where the key features of this case will be stated. So on the top, we have Premium leather. This is actually a genuine leather case. And on the bottom, we actually have drop protection, screen cover, which is the folio case, screen cover, and the cut slot, which from my experience, holds one cut or two cuts, the max. I wouldn't even use two cuts with this case. I think one cut is already like stretching out the case. But of course, this is a leather case. It takes time to break in. Easy on and off, genuine leather, accessible volume controls. Let's crack into this package and see what the contents are okay so all we need to do is just slide out the sleeve or the tray i should say and then we are greeted with the leather case itself so imagine this case as otter box symmetry series with a folio cover on the front because that's what it basically is in fact i think on their website i saw they have changed it from strata folio series to symmetry folio if i'm not mistaken so on the front we actually have this nice leather front cover with the cutout for the earpiece. Moving on to the right side, we actually have the auto box branding and a sort of metal finish and also our power button. On the top, we have a cutout for our noise cancelling microphone. Moving on to the left side of the case, we have embossed buttons on the ladder so that you can easily press your Bixby button and your volume up and down keys. On the bottom, we have a cutout for the earphone jack, our USB-C port, as well as our speaker. Okay, so on the back, we have a very generous cutout for our camera, our flash, and also the heart rate monitor. This front cover attaches by magnet, so it keeps it close, and it's not going to like fall out. Okay, let's take a look on the inside of the case. We actually have a nice soft material inside to protect the screen when it's closed. Also, we have this cut slot right here. So I'll be testing it out when I put my phone into this case. And then we have this portion right here, which is actually from the Symmetry series, as what I mentioned before. Here's a nice rubber inlay. It is like a hybrid case. So you have this hard plastic along with this nice rubber fusion right here. So you can see the inside of the case. Let me give you a tour. So it has very good protection all around. If you can see right at this corner right here, there's a sort of a air pocket, I should say, right there. So let me try to get that in the light. I think you can see it right there. 
Yeah, that's what protects your phone when you drop it in this case. Okay, so let's put everything to the side and put my S9 Plus into this case. I would recommend before putting on this case to give your phone a nice wipe down as I don't think you want any dust or unwanted particles getting stuck in between as it might scratch your phone. So I'll give this phone a nice wipe down. From my experience with Galaxy phones with this infinity display, it's better to put in the case from the bottom instead of from the button side as with all iPhone cases. All you need to do is just put in the bottom right here and just press on the corners and then it will slide in very easily just like that. So it's very simple. Let me clear my notification so I don't put anyone on blast. Okay, so you can see it fits perfectly. Let's test out the volume buttons. Easy to press, Bixby button. Of course, I've disabled the Bixby button. So it's easy to press as well. And also the power button, very easy to get to. Okay, let's take a look at the cutouts on the bottom. Here you can see there's generous cutouts for your USB-C, your earphone jack, so your speaker grill right there. Nice, precise cutout for your noise cancelling microphone. And on the back, you have a super generous cutout. That's what I mentioned before for your fingerprint scanner, your dual cameras and your flash. Let's try out these embossed buttons and see how they work. So I'll be pressing it from the outside of the case. You can see, no problem right there. Before we end this video, let me grab a card and slot it into this card slot right here. So it's still new, so it's quite hard to get to. Okay, so you can see the card slot works and there's no problems when you close the flap it's not going to drop out okay so let's put this card to the side so with all normal folio cases you get on the market this flap normally just sits around like this and you know and dangles out of the side so it's kind of hard to type so what autobox has done is actually quite ingenious this magnet right here actually attaches back to this metal portion right there so it just snaps on so it's easy for you to actually hold the phone and use it this actually helps improve handling as compared to imagine you have to hold like this and type with one finger of course with all the good things said about this case there are some downsides as well so number one i think the major downside for me is the lack of a magnet at the bottom of the case to actually turn off the device when you close the flap so let me give you a demo right here let me unlock the phone you can see, now I'll close the flap and you can see the screen doesn't actually turn off. So that's kind of a bummer. I wish they actually added at least a, a magnet right at the bottom here. I think it wouldn't be that hard to actually add a magnet at the bottom. It wouldn't obstruct the usability of this case or the design. But it will actually give extra function right there. So I think that is a missing feature which I wish Autobox had added to this case. So you, as you can see, I can't really find any downsides to this case except for the fact that there is no auto on off function. One more thing I feel that is kind of annoying is actually this flap right here. You can see sometimes you want to hold the phone in your palm like this and that thing actually gets in the way. You know, you can see sticking out like a saw thumb at the side. So I think that will get worn up pretty fast if you're going to use this case a couple of months down the road. I think this portion here, this stitching here will actually get worn out and eventually tear apart. But then that this case, I think it's a go for me. From a person that doesn't like folio cases, but this case really does the job well. I'm not a fan of the original Samsung flip covers and whatnot. Because I think they don't offer enough protection for me. Especially when you drop it from about, just say, 5 feet. I don't think the Samsung cases will hold up that well. I mean, if you're lucky, yes. But the probability of your phone getting damaged is pretty high. So, this case, on the other hand, eliminates the risk of getting your phone damaged as it has very thick protection. In fact, it increases the weight of your device if you don't mind that. The weight does increase by a slight margin. But I don't mind that as I think it actually gives the phone a nicer feel in the hand. 
a more sturdy feel as you know you're not going to drop it so that's all for this video guys if you did like it do smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and turn on notifications so that you'll be able to view my future videos i'll be bringing in more cases for the s9 and s9 plus as well since it's the trending phone right now i'll leave a link in the description if you do wish to pick one of these cases up i recommend this case over any of the third party flip cases or even the original samsung flip case of course it doesn't have that much features but it gives you the peace of mind so i think that's a good trade-off that's what we use a case for anyway right okay so that's all from me today signing out you guys have a nice day take care and see you guys in the next video